Hello. In this video, we're going to look at how to print values on the screen, and you'll notice that I'm looking at my quick reference guide. And if you're at Geelong High School, you can get to this on Citadel, and if you're somewhere else, I'll put a link. So uh, let's have a look at printing. So there is how we just put text on the screen. So let's jump over to where we're writing it. So if I just want to print literal text, I'm going to use the convention of capitals and brackets around there. You don't have to, but I think it's always worth giving a little bit more because that way you're more likely to um, please the examiners and other readers, just being as strict as you can be. So there we go. If I just type hello world, then what will appear on the screen is hello comma world. So what's in between the talking marks. So that's how we print a string literal. Let's say we've got a variable. So let's say we've got name. And name equals, now when you're writing pseudocode, you actually don't write equals to assign a value. You write a left pointing arrow. And if you're doing this on Google Docs or Microsoft Word, if you type it with the smaller than and then two dashes, it will actually turn into a nice arrow for you. But it really doesn't matter how you create it. So uh, name equals, now I'm just going to put my name there, Mark. There we go. And then on the next line, I'm going to print and you'll notice that I just put the name of the variable in. I don't put talking marks around it because talking marks mean put literally what's in here, which is why I call it literal text. Whereas when I type the name of the variable, it's saying um, write that. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just jump over to ChatGPT, which I could have sworn I had running somewhere, and we'll have a quick look at that. Oh, there we go. Um, please run this pseudocode. Uh, and I'm just going to paste it in. There we go. It's having a little bit of a think about it. Um, there, well, it's turned it into Python for me, which really isn't uh, super helpful, but it does. it is the Python that would come from that. So, okay, maybe I won't bother too much about getting the AI to do it. So, coming back to it, that's how we print a variable. Well, let's say we want to print both literal text and a variable. Well, there's two ways we can do this. We can say print, and we can just put them together. So, hello there, and then we can use a comma and the name of the variable. And that would say, hello there, Mark. We could also, this is less common, but I've certainly seen it used, um, print, hello there, um, and a plus. So, in actual fact, the plus is the one I see more commonly. So, both of those are acceptable. And those are the three ways that you can put, uh, you can print. And these ones here are called concatenating. Concatenating means putting a bunch of things together into one. I think of them like gluing them together. So that's how you print using pseudocode. 